Well, hey, so you know, <clears throat> I've been making artwork from Nespresso capsules, and let me show you this. So I've had a problem with, you know, when I'm saving up used capsules with them growing mold. So what I've been doing is after I use a capsule, I've just been turning it over onto some paper towels. These are the two that I used this morning so that they can kind of drain out and get dried out. And I'll show you what is the next step. So the next step after I empty them out and wash them, you know, I take off the foil seal, empty them, wash them. Uh, the next thing is I squish them. So, you know, like here, some of the Virtuo line, here's the original line. So I squish them up, kind of play around with different designs. Here's one of the original lines squished up. You can see the difference in size. And here's one of the art pieces that I've made with the original line capsules, just a kind of abstract design, but I really enjoy it. This is actually a chalkboard that I bought at Michael's it was probably, it was less than $15, maybe only $12. It's got a wooden frame. It even has hanging holes in the back. And it's just been the perfect background for this. In contrast, here's one that I made with the Virtuo capsules. And I also put little tiny mirrors on it. This one is on an actual piece of wood. And I had to, I used a very, very dark stain on it. And I had to put hangers on the back. Still really fun. So here now is my latest creation. Um, <laughs> so this is what happened with this one, okay? I used these Gorilla glue dots that are supposed to be permanent and let me get some of this off here they did not stick things down very well hang on let me get all this stuff off and I'll show you So, okay, I had all those things on there to weight everything down. Now, the reason that I needed to weight them down is because I took E6000 and put it on every one of these. Hmm. I might not have put enough. It does have a 24 hour curing time and it's been maybe 22 hours. Let me try lifting this up and see how it goes. Okay, so here it is. Well, nothing's falling off, but you can see some of these are on pretty good. I think I can pop some of these off though. The problem was with the glue dots that a lot of them were, they just were not sticking on well at all. And some were even beginning to fall off. So I had to go ahead and use that E6000. So I'm gonna see how this goes. See over a few days if things still seem to be sticking. I think I'll lay this back down. Some are on strongly. Some still have a little movement to them. I guess, oh, and I see I need to pick off some of these threads of the E6000. That happens with hot glue too, that you get these threads. 
Oh yeah, I see I've got the little threads here and there, but they're not adhered to the background. They're just sort of stretched across. So yeah, uh, I definitely would not recommend using those Gorilla Glue glue dots. No, these did not stick them down well enough. If it had just been, if these had been completely flat, it would have stuck them down just fine. But because the bottoms are a little bit ripply. Oh, now look at this, okay? I didn't realize these were slightly up. Uh, slightly overlapped. Oh dear. I see this one stuck down really well. This one is not stuck down quite as well. Oh, it'll be fine. But you know, it's still stuck down good enough. It's just that I don't want them overlap. But the problem is that when you cover it over with something to press it down, you can end up with something slightly slipping out of place. Oh, well, it's okay. Because, like, look, this one is squished unevenly. It's all right. See, that moves. This one doesn't move. So, but it's not likely to come off. Whereas yesterday, I tell you what, when I was doing this with them, they were just popping off. So what does work, this is the stuff that works, E6000. And I got one of the tubes that comes with these little skinny applicator things. So you can get a nice thin line of it instead of a big glob. So some of these are flexible. Some are stuck really well. I'm going to... Okay, you know what? I might have missed putting on the E6000 on this particular one yesterday. It just seems to have that Gorilla Glue dot on there. So I will just re-glue this one, but you see how easily it came off. I'm gonna have to give that a nice glob of Gorilla Glue to stick it on well. I'm going to leave it there so I know which one I need to fix. So I went ahead and glued down a few that seemed a little bit too loose. And I'll let them sit like this till tomorrow. Well, it looks like things are stuck down pretty well. So using the E6000 was a success. Just kind of looking from the side here to see if any seem to be sticking up a little bit. So some are still a little bit flexible, but they're stuck on there. Here, this one, see that moves. It's E6000 all the way. Now I need to figure out where to hang this.